Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about a month ago, I posted a couple of videos letting you know that Microsoft, after a bit of confusion, had backtracked and had confirmed in an updated post that Windows 11's minimum system requirements remain unchanged. And in the video, which will be linked down below and in the end screen, Microsoft said that it's not letting you install Windows 11 on unsupported PCs after there was a bit of confusion. Now, in regards to installing Windows 11 on unsupported PCs, as an example, my Windows 10 device, which doesn't meet the very strict hardware requirements to upgrade to Windows 11, as spotted recently by NeoWin, the support article which hosted the workaround that Microsoft had published a while back, which involved tweaking the registry to allow a Windows 11 upgrade, if you're obviously if you were on an unsupported PC, this registry workaround, which bypasses the CPU and TPM checks, has now been deleted. The actual post has been deleted. And this is very interesting because apparently you can see at the top, this doesn't look normal. So this is actually using the Wayback machine. So the post has actually been deleted. So it's been archived. And if you head to the original support article, it takes you over to the Wayback machine. So Microsoft has actually deleted this, um, this original support article giving you the workaround to install Windows 11 on unsupported hardware by applying this registry tweak, which it's out there. I mean, there's a lot of people who know how to do this and obviously there are ways to bypass the minimum requirements. And apparently this support article was deleted a short time after the release of Windows 11 24H2. So because it's been deleted, obviously this could mean that Microsoft no longer officially recommends or endorses the bypass method, even though obviously this does still work. Um, as I've seen in the comments and in uh, media outlets doing the rounds online. And as we have been talking about on the channel, in our kind of series, the end of Windows 10, and I'll leave the playlist on that linked um, somewhere here in the end screen, Microsoft's official recommendation, if you cannot upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 because the system requirements be not been met, is to go out and buy a new PC to move on to Windows 11 because Windows 10 end of support is fast approaching. And as I've mentioned, that's making a lot of people unhappy because obviously not everybody has the cash or the means just to go out and buy a new PC, especially when Windows 10 is running perfectly on most Windows 10 devices that don't meet the system requirements to be upgraded to Windows 11. So once again, I think this latest move may cause a little bit of um, debate once again. And I think that Microsoft is really now trying to get users from Windows 10 onto Windows 11. But obviously they want you, if you can't update, to go out and buy a new PC that makes perfect marketing sense as you may agree but obviously is making a lot of folks unhappy uh, including myself I think it is a bit unnecessary especially regarding the e-waste that this decision of Microsoft to ditch for you to ditch your unsupported PC and go out and buy a Windows 11 PC um, I think that's a bit cheeky and obviously there are other ways to move on. If you don't want to stick with Windows, you've got Mac. If you don't want to use Mac, you've got Linux. But nonetheless, there we go. Just wanted you to know that support article has been deleted. So Microsoft really wanting you now to go out and buy a new PC and wanting you to move on from Windows 10 to Windows 11 by making it a lot more difficult and removing that support article. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.